Umar Johnson says that Eminem cannot be considered one of the greatest rappers because he ain't black. In his case, it makes sense to everybody but the black community, right? And um, he was on the Joe Budden podcast, which I really never watched. Just see a few clips, not a fan of it. Um, it's not, no offense to Joe. It's not one of the things that I watch, but I seen it on TMZ, and he right. You know, we basically said you, I can't go over to Palestine and be the best instrumentalist or be the best cook. I can't go basically can't go to any other community and be considered the best at something that they created, right? But even going past that, you know, just talking about him in a nutshell, I just think. It was a, a, a culture shock for the black community with Eminem being able to rap like he did, sound black, rap, and I think a lot of people gave him a lot of props for being an anomaly. Yeah, you had the Beastie Boys, you know what I'm saying? But I think somebody wrote the Beastie Boys raps, I could be wrong. But the Beastie Boys still sounded white. You had uh, you had anomalies there like uh, Bubba Sparks and, you know, but nobody that white that really, you know, solo artists like Eminem you had third base, but nobody who put together a string of, of, of a run like Eminem. But one thing about Eminem that hurt his, uh, that hurt him in the GOAT debate is that his music did not age well. Now, he's not the only person who music didn't age well. Um, I didn't think Busta Rhymes, and I never said this publicly, but I always thought this. I didn't think a lot of Busta Rhymes music aged too well. You know, and that's just my opinion. Right, and I love Buster, but I don't think a lot of his music aged too well. And with Eminem, his music didn't age well. You know, it didn't it didn't go through the test of times. It aged like bananas. And I've, I've always, you know, and I always and I always said that it didn't age well. You know, is he one of the best rappers? Absolutely, but it's all opinionated. You know, but once you you know you do a versus battle with him versus somebody. If that's what they still doing, you're gonna see how bad his music really his bad his music really did age. Um you know, but it's hard to say, you know, who the best at something because you gotta pay homage to the originators to get people who came before you and said that was the, they said that that was good because I mean Michael took something from every from all the guys that came before him. So did Shaq, so did Kobe, so did Iverson, so did LeBron. So you had all these blueprints to, to, to add to your game. Now you still got to have the skill set to put those blueprints to the game. But it's hard, you know, to talk about who's the best, who the greatest, the greatest is. Because you can never put them in their primes, all of them in their primes, in the room and say, let's go. I mean, especially the way technology has advanced, you know. Um, and production has advanced, you know what I'm saying? And opportunity has advanced. So that's one thing, that's one way to look at it. But <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, he make, he make a great point. And his whole thing is we need to keep all this black stuff under one umbrella. You know, we need to, you know, keep our money in our community you know, and all that, and then, you know, we could, we invented rock and roll, and they took that. You never hear, you know, was it Chuck Berry, or uh, they said Ike Turner created rock and roll, as with some of the greatest rock and roll artists, they act like, you know, they it didn't exist until Chuck Berry died uh, some years ago, and then he got a little homage, but he was the originator, I mean, he was one of the originators along with Ike, uh, Ike Turner, excuse me. I think a lot of people say Ike Turner created uh, rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong on that. So, um, he right. But, you know, trying to get black Americans to be on one accord and try to get to keep them supporting each other and keeping a dollar in, in the community like the Asian community does or the Amish community or the Jewish community. To me, it, it's, it, you know, it's a fight that he want to go down dying trying to fight, it's impossible to beat. It's impossible. You know, we just too far gone. 
And to fix that, everybody individually is going to have to fix their, their household. And I always say that, you know, co-parenting and baby mama, baby daddy shit got to die before the black community can move forward to any things that he talking about accomplish. You need a strong male figure in the household. You need a, a, a good woman in the household working together, building a family. But everybody today is just too selfish and mature for that to happen. And bad decision making. So before we can keep the dollar in the community, before we can do a lot of this other stuff that we need to accomplish, that won't happen. Anybody can come into hip hop and make a killing. You know, they let Miley Cyrus come in and get with Mike Will made it, make a killing. They let Eminem, which he said, black women ain't ish, black, white women is better, and black women forgave him, right? Let's keep it a bean. You know, Lil Nas X, he had a country song there. They let him come in the country, they ain't let him infiltrate country music. Don't you never forget that. Anybody can come into hip hop and make a killing and come in and come out. The air corn can come in and make a killing off the game. You know what I'm saying? What's my man from Interscope? Who Dr. Dre and us should help get in the game. Jimmy Alvin can come in the game and make a killing. You know? Ain't no... <coughs> all the gatekeepers in hip-hop ain't black. So anybody can come and go as they please. You know? Do I got a problem with you saying Eminem was the greatest? That's your opinion. That don't bother me none. Everybody got a piece. It's not, it's not a proven metric, not the Billboard 100. And Eminem sold a lot of records because white people bought a re buy records. Even if you go back to listening, if you go back to the James Brown movie, it had a lot of jewels in that movie. And James Brown, shout out to Chadwick Boswick, did a great job playing James Brown. He wanted to do a live album. And the record label wouldn't put the money up for the live album. Because they say, James, your people, black people, don't have the means to buy live albums, to buy albums. So us to do a live album, it was going to cost us a lot of money. Your people don't have the means to buy it. Even when black people do have the means now in the 21st century and late in the 20th century, they had the means, they had the money to buy the albums. They still chose the line wire. They still chose the bear share. They still chose to bootleg, bootleg this shit. You know, and I was talking to uh, somebody the other time about going to support black movies. Well, I could just, I could just stream it, and why not just say five or ten dollars? Like, dog, y'all blow, y'all blow hundreds of dollars on marijuana and cigarettes and liquor, and to go support a black movie with a black lead for ten, thirteen dollars, probably not even that. Y'all won't spend that. And it's the same thing when it came down to buying the albums. Y'all wouldn't spend 10 or 10 or 15 dollars to buy a goddamn album. And then wonder why the industry catered towards white artists like Eminem. Why the industry, you know, did that. What's that movie, Gods of Egypt? And a lot of the cast was white and not black. And they was talking about Egypt. You wonder why? Because y'all don't get out there and support shit with bullshit. You don't get out there but, but putting Jordans on you and your family feet. Don't support no college ship, scholarship funds for your or support no college funds for your children. Don't have life insurance, but y'all got all the Jordans. You got all the marijuana, all the bud, all the liquor every weekend. Going broke every Christmas trying to make it happen. But y'all can't get out there and support, you know, black businesses. Y'all can't get out there and support black ventures and black artists and black movies, and black production. That's why I feel like Umar is speaking on deaf ears, bro. Even though now with the way communication and networking is, it's bet with social media is the best it's ever been, black people don't care. I'm trying to tell you, man, this whole audios of them and them saying black women ain't ish, white women better. Black women don't care. But let a brother, let Jonathan Owens say, you know, he was the catch versus Simone Biles. We are conditions to hate each other. We were closer in slavery and coming over on them damn ships than we are now. We'll never be that close again as far as that brother, that sister. It takes a village and a community to raise it. No. The black dollar will never stay in the black community. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro.
Umar, Umar trying to fight a fight, and all they gonna do is point out, well, he go to school, or they gonna always, that's one thing, when black people, when somebody try to help black people and lead black people, either black people tear it down, or what's my man's that, that paid all their student loan debt off, and then they open an investigation on him. Anytime you try to help black people out, you know, and try to get game, either black people gonna tear you down, okay? Or, or, the, or when you're doing real help, the powers that be gonna try to expose you. They gonna give the black people all the material they need to expose. You know? And like I said before, you know, I don't, I mean, I'm not about to argue nobody with that opinion, go ahead. But I ask people, and people in the black community, I don't care about y'all, when the last time you played some Eminem? You know what I'm saying? Real talk. When the last time you heard to the, went to the club and they played Eminem? Few far in between. You know, you can still put on J, some of Jay shit and I shit and Pac shit and Big shit and it's feel like it came on yeah, came out yesterday. And maybe that's just the weakness of Eminem game. Some songs you'll play give you nostalgia. And that, that come with everything. Even some, some bad songs that you didn't like gave you nostalgia. It brought back memories. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Lil Wayne. Never have, never will be. I like some of his music, but I'm not the biggest fan of him. He was just always overrated to me. And, that, and that's my opinion. I'm not going to sit here and fight people tooth and nail. Because I started naming off some of my favorite rappers of all time. Ice Cube, Pac, Big, Jizzle. I mean, uh, Big Jizzle, Ghostface Killer, Jada Kiss. It's just a disconnect. You know? Everybody got the style that they like. And, you know, I bought some Eminem show was the uh, last Eminem album I bought. To me, that was his best one. In my opinion. You know, but you know, he, he's definitely made his impact on rapping. You know, if you want to say he's one of the greatest, I'm not gonna call you a raccoon or 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 you know, argue and fight you with your opinion. I was your it's your opinion. But uh but nonetheless, um Omar is right. And other ethnic groups you cannot come in. Right? And be the best at anything. You cannot come in and speak for the congregation and speak for the community. He is a he is a hundred percent right when it comes to that. And a lot of people like Joe Budden can't grasp the concept of it. A lot of black people can't grasp you know, we don't have any cohesiveness. There's no more it takes a village to raise a kid anymore. That's dead. You say something to somebody, kid, they ready to, they ready to shoot and kill you. You be like, well, you know, your kid stabbed my dog or stabbed my son. And I brought him down. Oh, no, no. You can't tell nobody nothing no more. You know, even, 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 even the women that you deal with, you try to help them, you know, uh, tell them what they need to do and try to get financial literacy or try to help them even... Women that you cool with, trying to help them level up and tell them what they need to do to find a nigga or find a man or a husband, they are women don't want to listen. Even to men that's been successfully married, they don't want to listen. So you in a whole community that don't want to listen, that they are trying very hard to make the women the leaders of the community, right? You got a whole community who don't listen. You got women raising kids on their own who don't listen, who don't abide by laws. When they go out there and they demonstrate and they and, and the powers that be retaliate, then they want to get out there, cry and all that. Bro, it's a lost community. Y'all trying to fight a fight that y'all can't win. Only way you can fight this fight in the black community, you got to get rid of a lot of bad, uh, bad apples and sour grapes. You know, the women are not submissive. They don't wish to be submissive, right? The whole nine. 
They they raising kids not to be submissive, not to listen as their little boyfriends and sisters and all that. So he, the fight that he trying to fight, bro, he wasting his time. And hopefully with his his grand hustle, shout out to Ti, he be make his money off of it. Fuck it. That's what I say. But hey, that's just my opinion on it. Check out the music entertainment playlist. Uh, TMZ got the clip. Or you want to go to Joe Budden, whatever he doing stuff at. I, I like Joe Budden as a rapper with Slaughterhouse. He had a couple songs on his own. But I'm not a fan of his podcast. It ain't, it ain't that I don't agree with some of I just don't watch it. You know, I got a couple a couple podcasts I listen to, but it ain't nothing too lavish so, or too deep. But hey, man, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Check out the music and entertainment playlist. Hit the link tree. <laughs> Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Uh, I'm on Spotify, X, Twitch, Twitter, the whole nine, man. So appreciate everybody for supporting the channel. Let me know what you girls and guys think uh, in the comment section. Peace.